Hi students, welcome to Samachir Study YouTube channel. In this video, book back numerical problems will be discussed from Standard 10 Science Unit 5 Acoustic Chapter. Problem corner le rukra, first three questions oda solutions a step by step pakala students. So first question, a sound wave has a frequency of 200 hertz and a speed of 400 meter per second in a medium. Apo sound wave kuduthirukranga. That is the frequency and speed. What do calculate? Wavelength of the sound wave. So, problem is first given. That is the note. Panikala, students. Frequency. Frequency is n. Symbol represent so, frequency n equal to 200 hertz. That is the speed. So, speed is v. Symbol represent so, speed equal to 400 ms power minus 1. Calculate panna vendi the wavelength. So, yappo me questions la vandu nama formula choose panna bodu. In the moon ayya connect panna kudiya formula va choose panna no. Sariya? So, yippo nama calculate panna pore the wavelength. So, wavelength ke enna formula irukku then check panna no na. Wavelength enna symbol la represent panna no? Lambda. So, nama ke irukku kudiya formula. V equal to N lambda. Sariya? So, now we have lambda lama. Lambda equal to V divided by N. So, this is lambda V N yellame connect. Agadu. So, wavelength lambda equal to V. That is speed divided by frequency. So, lambda equal to speed order value 400. Frequency order value 200. So, 400 divided by 200. Evolve kade kyon? 2. Lambda wada unit meter. Wavelength meter na solvo. So, lambda equal to 2 meters. Sida da in the question oda answer student. Romba ve simple ana question. So, solve pandra dikhe lambda equal to V divided by N. Abhi ingra formula matta therinja po do. Aad the second question. The thunder of the cloud is here. 9.8 seconds later than the flash of lightning. That is the cloud learned thunder where the poem thunder ED Satum and the mineral cup rather than war. That is 9.8 seconds. We have to reach the 9.8 seconds. Now, the speed of sound in air is 330 meter per second. What will be the height of the cloud? This is the question. That is the height of the cloud. We have to reach the in the cloud, height is the distance between cloud and earth. So, first, we have given the question. In the question, we have the given time. So, time equal to 9.8 divided by 330 seconds. That is the speed of sound. So, speed equal to 330 ms power minus 1. Now, we have to say height. I already said height is equal to distance. Right? Height of the cloud equal to distance travelled by the sound. That is the height of the cloud. So, distance is the formula. Now, I already said that the formula is equal to the moon. So, we have to say speed of the formula. Speed equal to distance over time. Okay, distance by time is the same speed. So, distance equal to speed of sound multiplied by time. Correct? Ha? Speed of sound which is multiplied by time. So, substitute pannu. speed of sound 330. Time is 9.8. So, multiply pannu, 330. 9.8 multiply pananuna first one the 2640. calculate pani pathukonga. At the 9 into 330 0792. calculate pananuna 32340. Other is lower point of 9.8 answer in a Unit another meter in the problem, you understand the problem. The problem is the height of the cloud is the distance travelled by sound. Apo, distance equal to speed multiplied by time. Calculate 3234, not 0. 
3 to 3, 4 meters kadaikum. is the answer student. Next question. A person who is sitting at a distance of 400 meters from a source of sound is listening to a sound of 600 hertz. Now, this is simple. Now, there is a source of sound. So, now, this is the sound. So, now, this is the sound. 400 meter distance ले रुको कुड़िया वर पर्सन वंदे केकरा रे आदि येन्ना फ्रीक्वेंसी ला केकरा ना 600 हर्ट्ज फ्रीक्वेंसी ला केकरा सरिया क्वेश्चन है ना ना फाइंड द टाइम पीरियड बिटवीन सक्सेसिव कंप्रेशंस फ्रॉम द सोर्स सो टाइम पीरियड कैलकुलेट पन सोली रखांगे ये दुक सक्सेसिव कंप्रेशंस फ्रॉम द सोर्स जरा Successive compressions is called as time period. Okay, this is your sound wave. Sound wave is a longitudinal waves. So, that waves are called compression and rarefaction. So, this is what we note. Time interval between successive compressions is called time period. Okay, so we can see the time interval between successive compressions. So, in the time period calculate, we can know the simple logic. That is the relation between time and frequency. T is one by frequency, reciprocal of frequency, time period. So, you can see what distance is here. What distance is here? நம்ம் கேல்குலைட் பண்ணம் வேண்டிது time period அதாவது time interval between successive compressions சொன்னா அதுக்கு இந்த distance தேவையில்லா சரியா இந்த distance நீங்கள் confuse பண்ணம் வேண்டியதில்லா director t equal to 1 divided by frequency நேலது நாலி இந்த problem solve பண்ணிரலா so இப்பு t equal to frequency எவ்வளோ குட்திருக்குறாங்க 600 1 divided by 600 இப்பு இது கொஞ்ச simplify பண்ணம் உங்களுக்கு கொஞ்ச division வந்து easier இருக்கும் 1 divided by 6 into 10 power 2 இதை வந்து நம் எழுது நோன்னா 1 into the 10 power 2 வந்து numerator வந்துச்சினா negativeல வரும் 1 divided by 6 into 10 power minus 2 so 1 divided by 6 நீங்கள் calculate பண்ணீங்கள் என்ன answer கடைக்கும் first is 0 அதுக்கப் பிரது நீங்கள் இன்னோர் 0 add பண்டு 1 times 6 is 6 இப்போ remaining 4 0 குடுத்தீங்கள் சொன்னா 36, 4, அப்போது இது வந்து 0.1666 continue ஆயிட்டே இருக்கும் அது அப்படி எழுதுவும் 0.166 into 10 power minus 2 சரியா, time order unit என்னது second இது இன்னும் simple பண்ணி எழுது நீங்கள் என்ன இந்த 666 continue வாகிறது நால் இது வந்து 0.17 into 10 power minus 2 seconds நேலுதலாம் இல்லை இந்த 10 power minus 2 வை இங்க கண்சுட் பண்ணும்போது 0.0000 இதுக்கு முன்னால் எழுதியும் seconds இன்ன answer complete பண்ணலாம் சரியா so answer for this question is 0.0017 seconds so இந்த question சால் பண்ணும்போது உங்களுக்கு தெரிய வேண்டியது time interval between successive compression equal to time period so time equal to 1 over frequency அதில் நீங்க substitute பண்ணீங்க நான் உங்களுக்க இந்த answer கடைக்கு students Okay students, hope you understand all these questions. If you like this video, please subscribe and share it to your friends. Thank you so much for watching.